when I heard a few people saying the word overweight and obese, it gives me a physical reaction of feeling like sick. Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. My name is Wholesome Vigilante and we are on episode five of Fitness Discourse. You can follow me on Instagram under the same name, Wholesome Vigilante. And there you can see my gym journey, my food, things I post, just really random stuff. So if you want to know more, follow me on Instagram. But that's besides the point. Let's get into episode five, where we'll be talking about Victoria Wellsby, otherwise known by her internet handle as Fierce Fatty. Now, you're probably asking yourself, who is Fierce Fatty? Because honestly, I didn't really know who she was. I had followed her Instagram under the body positive health at every size hashtags because I find it really interesting, but I never associated it with the new BBC show called Who Are You Calling Fat, which is a new Big Brother styled series, but instead of having interesting backgrounds, they're all just very obese people, and that's the only thing the show really focuses on. It tells their life story, things like that, but the whole crux of the show is fat people living together entertainment. Victoria's main role on the show is being the radical self-love, fat acceptance person, and thus becomes the very controversial figure that likes to say very confrontational things. And not just to people who question her fatness, but the other overweight people in the show. She comes across as very attacking, very unreasonable. She's not really open to hearing what others are saying, which in turn becomes very frustrating for the viewers which of course keeps viewers watching. Now, one of the more controversial things that Victoria said is that gastric bypass is the equivalent of a stomach amputation. Bariatric surgery, AKA stomach amputation surgery, is all kinds of messed up. So that is the logic that we're dealing with here. She ended up even fighting with someone else that was on the show because he was trying to lose weight and she felt very attacked by that process. Why I left was because his language was food shamey. You know, all these things I ate and the bad things, like very morality around food. Because him trying to be healthier really challenged her viewpoint and that is unacceptable. Now, her social media is no less confrontational than her appearance on the BBC. Like I said, I actually used to follow her Instagram before the show, and some of her highlights of her posts include things such as, the words obesity and overweight are slurs, and other such gems as, health is a social construct. What? So of course, once I was done with Instagram and scrolling through all the nonsense, which I was slightly familiar with, I went and saw if she had a YouTube which it turns out she does. It of course is Fierce Fatty, Victoria Wellsby. She's very good at maintaining that brand, props. But she's been posting since 2016 and has around 80 some videos. Her top performing video at 5.5 thousand views is Fat Girl Shaves Her Head. That's a lot of hair. <laughs> Quality content. Now Fierce Fatty has her own website under the same name. And it's everything you expected and just a little bit more. Her intro into her website is, Hi, I'm Victoria, and I'm an anti-diet, pro-fatty, body acceptance coach, TEDx speaker, best-selling author, and the badass babe behind Fierce Fatty. I've said this before, but I have a huge problem with the term anti-diet. If you stick food in your mouth on a day-to-day -day basis, that is your diet. You don't have to follow someone's plan or cut things out. A diet's just what you eat daily. So unless you are not eating anymore, you have a diet. The most interesting part about her website is the fact that she offers a Fierce Fatty Academy, which is just a great name. But her Fierce Fatty Academy comes with a full 360 Fierce Fatty Academy e-course. This e-course will take you from being too anxious to wear the damn bikini to feeling like a goddamn queen while strutting your stuff at the pool. So first off, this course is not for men, and Victoria being anti-diet is also for people that don't eat. 
we're off to a great start. It also follows the full fierce framework. This will take you step by step through each stage of your confidence journey. I will guide you. You just need to take the first step. And lucky for you, I was able to find this full fierce framework, which I'll show here. Just look at it. That's fun, right? The fact that the base core of the framework is feelings should tell you everything you need to know. There's no logic or science or programming. It's just feelings because feelings are the most important thing. Don't worry. It gets better. You also get three months of live group coaching calls. That's exclusive access to Victoria. No question is left unanswered. Three months of unlimited access to your coach. That's actually pretty good, so let's keep reading. You also get access to a private Facebook community because you need to be surrounded by like-minded people who are the exact same journey as you are on. You get an echo chamber. A super secret Facebook group echo chamber. Whew. Fun. I bet you're pretty excited about this program because I know that I am. But just like anyone else, I tend to be a little wary about random people on the internet, even if they've been featured in a television show. So I decided to look at Victoria Wellsby's LinkedIn. I hate LinkedIn. But lucky for me, she had one because someone offering such an intense program, three months of training, she's got to have a background in sports education, science, maybe medical fields, and she likes to focus on overweight and obese bodies. So let's take a look. A bachelor's in illustration, a certified evaluator for a personality assessment tool. We're getting closer. And she took a coaching accelerator essentials, international coach federation approved program. Now here's a big distinction. She took the program, but she is not a coach under the ICF. She just took a couple classes. She didn't even go for her coaching license. So we have an illustrator with no coaching license. I'm not seeing a lot of benefit here so far. So now we know a little bit about Victoria Wellsby, her academy, her education that gives her a right to run this academy. So let's look at how much it costs. Her academy costs $1,297. $1,297. For a one-time payment, because don't worry if you can't front that right away. Instead, you can pay six payments of $247 which by the end of those six payments is actually around $200 more than the one-time payment. Now, I don't know a lot of people that can afford throwing $1,200 at a feel-good course from someone that has no formal training in what kind of advice they're trying to give you. It's insane. And that's an issue that's coming up more and more in the fitness industry. And honestly, they're targeting uneducated people who just want quick fixes to feel good about themselves, whether it's body wraps to help them lose weight or a feel-good academy so they don't have to lose the weight. They're both very different ends of the spectrum, but it's the same core issue. People are being used and targeted, and that's not okay. Because there are people out there that don't have the time or resources to look into these people. So if someone like Victoria can go around and charge these exorbitant prices for a program that isn't going to do anything for you, and now now she has a large platform through BBC2 to help push this because now people are Googling her name. Now people are asking who she is and they're funneling those people right to her website. Fierce Fatty says she's uplifting fat women, go body positivity, but really all she's doing is targeting insecure people in order to get their decent amount of money because I know I couldn't throw $1,200 at something like that. But there are people out there that are willing to pay that because they want to feel good about themselves. And that's sad. They shouldn't have to. But this is definitely not a solution. This is a problem. And the fact that BBC gave her a platform is a bigger problem. I'll say it again. It's not okay. That's all I have for you guys today on Victoria Wellsby, aka Fierce Fatty. Like I said, she's a controversial figure. She's not afraid to tell how she feels and what she thinks others should feel. She, I'm sure, will continue to be a controversial figure on the BBC show, Who Are You Calling Fat? And I'm sure she will continue to make new programs for her website. Which, again, is unfortunate, and she really doesn't have the training to be doing this.
So let me know what you guys think. Do you agree with Victoria? Do you not? Do you think this is all blown out of proportion? Her social media numbers are low, and I kind of hope it stays that way so she doesn't become an influential figure such as Tess Holliday or the fat sex therapist, Sana Lee. If you guys have anyone else you want me to talk about, please let me know, leave a comment down below, and I hope you guys have a good day. Follow me again on Instagram if you want. I'm probably gonna stop doing my Twitter because I have no idea how to use it. But again, let me know what you guys think. Have a good night. Remember to be better and do better. Mm -hmm.